Hello and welcome to a video of me, Winner and Trades, picking up where you left off last time where I went a bit too crazy, I think. Considering what I did in the previous episode, probably should have been split in two episodes. But, uh, yeah. I took over the rest of the Middle East and all of this over here in Russia, basically. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should have stopped once I got all this stuff over here. And then did all of this in the next one. But it ended up being all in one episode, so yeah. And for the most part, the main reason why I even went and did all that is just because I wanted the land over here in the Middle East, going along in the, on the Iberian Peninsula, a little bit along here, and also this area. And the result of me in getting all the rest of this. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. End of the video. Hungary decided to declare independence from me. Which is weird considering they've had good relations with me this entire time, I'm pretty sure. So, no idea why they declared independence or anything. But, they did. So, I'm going to have to deal with them now. And I'll probably be taking over the entirety of Italy in this episode as well. Which means going after Tunis as well, since they have all this stuff here. Oh. God, they're towards a lot of countries. Hungary isn't at war with anyone now. Okay. Lithuania is at war with a lot of countries as well. Okay, sure. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just go straight to war with Hungary right now. Instead, I have all my troops ready to invade already. So, yeah, let's get this thing going. Do this war. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be very quick. 15% done already. So, yeah. Hungry's not going to last long against me. Though they, of course, do have the small groups of troops I'm going to have to deal with. Like that group of 3,000. But other than that, this will be a super easy war. Nearly halfway. Already. Two thirds of the way done. Okay. They will capitulate this turn. At least they should capitulate this turn. Yep, there we go. That is hungry gone. And look at those casualties. I completely destroyed them there. Now, annex all that land, and now I will prepare for the next thing here. Okay, so, um, got all the province built and everything there done now, and I... Uh, going to go after Naples next, considering there's not much left of them over here. That is literally everything they have. Those 13 provinces. So, yeah. Take them over very quickly right here. And there we go. Uh, that is already over. Barely actually had to take anything there. Wow. And province has the rest of that. Okay. Let's see, will you accept that? No. Seriously? Why? Eh, uh, god damn it. Okay. So, 
I don't exactly want to be dealing with that, considering they are allied with France. I don't exactly want to be fighting France right now. Uh, okay. So, for right now, I think I'll just build up some money first, I guess, and then recruit some troops. Okay, there we go. Good. Just a bit more of a threatening army there is all I need. Let's get them to accept that. Good. So, I now have the southern half of Italy under my control. Nice. So, I now need to... Deal Tunis, I guess. There are some massive wars going on right now, aren't there? Yeah. And a lot of wars in general. Ugh, God. Just all of this is a complete mess right now. Portugal doesn't even control any of this, actually. Jesus. Uh... Okay. Well... I'm not exactly sure what to do here. Um, let's see. I want to deal with all that. And they are a vassal of Portugal, so I'm going to have to fight Portugal, I guess. No matter what I do here. Which isn't that much of a problem, to be honest. Okay, so, um, Aragon there. Allied with some other countries that I haven't seen. Okay. I guess for right now, I will go after Tunis and them alone. They don't have any vassals or allies, they're just at war with a bunch of other countries. So that'll make things a bit easier here. Wait, my relations with them are maxed out at 250 or something there. Jesus. I actually have to send insults to send an ultimatum. Here we go. Demand all this over here. And everything in Italy, of course. Stuff there. Okay. That's good. Now. Um. Hmm. Sure. I'll demand all that. Okay, they didn't accept that simple demand, so it's time to go to war with them as well. They seriously don't have any ports around here? Okay, they lost their capital, and with that they lost all their ports in the entire area, basically. I think it's been quite a while since they actually lost their capital as well. So, I'm just going to take that province there, immediately build a port. Well, so far I've not really gotten any kind of resistance from Tunis here. So, yeah, they don't really have much in the way of an army to defend themselves, despite the fact that they have so many troops in their capital right there. Okay. And I already got them to capitulate. Wow. That was... quick. Okay. Sure. Guess I'll take everything. 
Why not? And I'll go ahead and send an ultimatum to that country there. And also Aragon here. And this country. Province? Okay, I guess province rebelled against... No. Eh? I don't know. But apparently province is now a vassal of Scotland. Weird. But okay, I guess. I'd have gotten refused ultimatum. Of course. At least other two accepted. Right now, before I do anything when it comes to Aragon, I need to do province stability. Okay, so I've done quite a bit there. Building up troops and everything in preparation to fight Portugal, considering I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to fight Portugal. Since, uh, yeah, can't do anything here because they're vassal Portugal and stuff, so... Yeah. Let's see. Uh... Let's see if I can get to Portugal to just give me all the land they have in Africa. Plus that stuff, I guess. No? Okay, sure, Portugal. It's time for you to be destroyed, the then. Go and free up all this occupied lands that Portugal's gotten over here. And Austria is back. Over here now. Okay. Sure. Now, I need to... Hmm. Okay. I'll send those troops around to attack there, I guess. Considering there's not much I can do over here in Africa. Since I basically lost the entire army I had there. And they have way too many troops for me to deal with. Okay, I think this should be the end of the war, I think, though... They are still kind of running rampant over here without... I'm not able to actually do anything to stop that, because I just don't have troops in this area. I'm not able to recruit large numbers of troops either. I do have all of this down here, so... Yeah. I think it should work out. Now I got a group of rebels here that I had to fight. Yay! Well, there we go. I fancy the enemy to go over there. Nice. Okay, so I just got to do this again, I think. Yeah. Okay, so, province stability here, um, not province stability, peace still. uh, da, 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 da. So first off, I want to demand vassalization of Portugal, and I will go through and take all of this land over here that I want. Okay, so, that is... Everything there. The rest of it is this here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take some of this, I guess.
Okay, so that is at least all that piece still. Okay, basically have all of Africa for the most part now. I got Portugal as a vassal there, and I also got them as a vassal and gave them some of the extra land I didn't exactly want currently. But, uh, yeah. I want to finish off Aragon and some of these other countries around here. So... Ah, shit. Okay. <clears throat> England is a vassal of France. Yeah. I actually forgot about that. I forgot about that. England's being a vassal of France. God damn it, France. Oh well. I'll clean up some of these others, I guess. While I do it. But yeah. I'll probably end up annexing this while I'm going through all the province to go to that country there while I go through province building, maybe also Aragon. And I may also finish off Castile there. So France and all their vassals can actually get peace. But first I want to make sure I actually get province building done and everything, of course. Okay, so... Now, I want to finish things off around here very quickly. Okay. Now, I want to see if I can get Aragon to accept. Okay. Sure. Don't want to accept. I didn't really forget that they could attack there. I just didn't really care, to be honest. Because setting a no belt to take them over very quickly. Okay. I want to take over this here. At the very least, it comes to this country here. Just so I can actually unite this whole thing with Italy. So, yeah, I'm just going to go and do this. Okay, sure. Just do that. That's all I wanted from them in the first place. Good. So, Madolva. Madolva is going to be next, I think. Maybe a bit of Austria there, not sure. But definitely Madolva, considering. Well, yeah. Also, they now have that bit of Crimea there that I'd like to get to my control, so yeah. But that there will be the end of this video. I got my main goal accomplished in taking over Italy, basically, while also basically taking over the mature, basically all of Africa, considering, well, you just got what Castile has there, and then England. And of course, what England has isn't very useful at all. It's just provinces. There's not really population or economy there. It's practically useless land, so... Yeah. Next episode, I will be dealing with Madova, I guess. And maybe doing a bit more over here. And also, I guess, Castile. Hmm. If I go after Steel, I'll probably just take all of that and then also go and annex Portugal if they haven't declared independence at that point. So, yeah. France is easily the biggest country. The strongest one out of all of them. 
purely because they also have England as a vassal. Though, England seems to be also trying to get independence from France. So, we'll see how that works out. They also have Scotland as a vassal now as well. Okay. Sure. What is actually the second strongest? Sweden. Okay. Sure. Still doesn't really stand a chance against me. But okay. I probably need to get some troops down there, but whatever. But uh, yeah, as I said, this is the end of the video. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.